The captivating true life story of Nigeria's former president, Ulushego Basanjo, on his encounter with one of the most dangerous criminals in northern Nigeria comes to the fore at the Terra Culture Arena. <laughs> Gula is a play directed by Kenneth Upobo, based on a book, The Story of Baba Ali, written by Olusegu Obasanjo, about the need to ensure parents keep an eye on their wards so they don't end up like Gula Thurman, also known as Baba Ali, the leader of a ruthless gang in northern Nigeria. When it took many years before the long arm of the law catches up with him. He lost his wife. I cannot continue like this. I cannot continue in this torture. I will soon be out. Look, I had a dream. The judge heard my case and struck it out. Believe me. I am married to someone else. What did he say? I am married to someone else. We have two kids now. And his mother. The prison warden was not sympathetic when breaking the news. Your papa don't die. Ah, ah. They even narrate that the man did die for you. Sorry, Baba. Take heart, eh? Accept my heartfelt sympathy. It is just unfortunate that you don't attend the burial. Because now here you go die. Man, you make for a all the talk about this dreaded criminal made the former president more curious to meet him while he was behind bars in Yola, Adamawa State. He wanted to understand the journey of most of the inmates, and Gula struck a chord. But tell me, what really brought you Flashback to his teenage years. Gulak well. always stood out for the wrong reasons. His father, who was a principal, was a hard nut to crack and laid down the rules which a protective mother failed to implement. What about what I want? How come nobody thinks about it? It's Gulak do this stand here, come on by this time. Rules here and laws there. It's a house, a house of rules. Shoot! I'm gonna get the table. I shall make a shoot. Stop, Marika. Why did you want to always complain? Eh? We are ever brothers and sisters are not complaining. You are the one opening this your mouth to complain. And that's the problem. We people lap up with every rule, even if it hurts you. Sister, grow up, be a woman, make a decision for your wife. Mama, 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 Throwing Gula to the dogs made matters worse. He was hanging out with the wrong crowd and ended up in a correctional facility which did nothing to right the wrongs. Street. 
The struggle for survival made him steal. Then his encounter with a man called Teacher, who just got out of prison, took things to another level. The narrative mirrors the book in a lot of ways, but the director spiced it up with some dance. A lot of humor. Use your head. Officers, sir. <laughs> I have missed my head, okay? It's in your hand. <laughs> Position of choir will not permit is enough to put you in jail for 10 years. Ah. Okay. Oh, God, man. Where are you? Are you crazy? Why are you begging me? I told you to use your head. Now this time I don't use it wisely. Idiot. The costumes, props and the approach to the set design helps embellish the play so the audience can understand and bond with the action on stage. The highlight of the event is when the real characters take the stage. The former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, and Pastor Sunday Gulak Feman are flanked by the cast and crew of this production. I am not into my former attitude. I have repented for almost some years ago now. And I am a full-time minister of the gospel. So definitely I am so excited as they have conveyed this message of my history dramatically. Definitely it will speak to many people. Some people will be touched and some life will come to understand that that type of attitude is not good and they will try and come out of it. So God that has made that happen can make, bring about change in anybody's life or in any human beings or human institution situation. So that, I believe, is the most important lesson. It's an exciting journey for the team involved in this project. This is completely a new space for me, dealing with the theatre, logistics, actors, directors, the fear, how will this, because there are different trappings, the politics, the religion, how do you blend this, the corporate world, how will they accept it? But the purity and the richness of the story speaks for itself and a wake-up call on how society plays a major role in shaping the life of a child. But from Gulag's tale, who is really to blame when someone goes astray? That responsibility falls on the individual's lap. Train a child on the way he should go and pray he does not depart from it. To see those two men on stage, that was certainly the icing on the cake. Another play talking about molding a child, but who is to blame? That's a big question. And while you try to figure out the answer, let me show you why you won't want to miss the next edition of the program. Coming up on Art House next week.
will be celebrating 50 years of Oshogbo art, vision of the last quarter. You know, when they started, they started with so many doubts, you know, uh, low self-esteem, people thought that they didn't go to school and they looked at themselves as some sort of people that should be promoted. But right now they've been able to raise themselves to a point that there's no difference, there's really no difference between the, those who went to formal school and those who didn't go to formal schools. That and more on the next episode of the program. That's At House today. Thank you so much for spending time with us. And remember that you can see this and any other edition of At House on our YouTube page. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Have a lovely day.